Hi, Steve Agassel here once again, Soul and Jazz Flavors in conjunction with our very good friends at Soul Strutter, the UK's number one soul music blog. Philadelphia born, but now resident in New York. Antonio has been brought to everyone's attention these last little while because of his work with Output Input, but he isn't the new kid on the block because he has his own history. So let's ask him about it. Antonio McClendon, welcome. Hi. Hey, what is going on? Thank you so much for having me, man. So, um, yeah, I just want to touch briefly, Antonio, on your own history before, obviously, you've become um, to a lot of people's attention through your work with Output Input. And mm -hmm. I've got to say that the first time that I came across you was on a compilation album back in 2016 called Welcome to Groove City Volume One. Welcome to Groove with City. With an absolutely kicking track, which still gets played today, and I still play it regularly, called oh, That's the Way. Yes. Yes. Give, give us a little bit of a of a of a history about Antonio McClendon, if you wouldn't mind. Not at all. Uh Antonio McClendon. I come from a wonderfully blessed musical family. Um I've been singing since I know myself. Um, I started playing bass guitar and piano around six, seven years old. And um, mainly uh, inspirational and gospel in my house growing up. And um, by the time I was 15 or so, I started, uh, I was allowed to actually play on uh, performances with my family when they sang uh, around the uh, Philadelphia, Delaware, Maryland, DC area. Um, moved to New York. I'm, I'm, I guess I'm skipping over a few years, but uh, moved to New York in the late '80s, early '90s, and um, hooked up with a producer who, whose brother happened to be married to my sister, Keith Diamond, who discovered Billy Ocean, and he wrote the songs "Caribbean Queen" and "Suddenly." Wow. Okay. And he, um, he took me under his wing. And he was like, how oh, you, he's like, you have something, you know, would you like to like learn the music business? And would you like to take that further? And I was only too happy to, to accept all of his help. Um, a few years later, as we, you know, began like a working relationship, he would bring me in on uh, demos that he would do for people like Donna Summer and Gladys Knight, and, um, jazz musicians who needed like uh, hooks and choruses sung. He would include me in that. Um, sadly in 97, he passed away suddenly. Okay. And, um, by that time I was, I was remarried. Um, I had four of my, I had four of my five children by then. Um, so I, I kind of put my music career on the back burner and decided to try to just kind of take care of my family. And maybe one day that dream would come back, but I, I never, ever gave up on wanting to be an influence in music. <clears throat> I always said I wanted to be an influence for good through sure. my music. Um, I wanted to sing about love. I wanted to sing about relationships that work and um, getting through relationships that seem like they're not working. There's, there's always a, a positive edge and I want to be the face of that in my music. Um, so early 2000s, Late 90s, I met a man by the name of Gil Small, uh, who was the producer of Welcome to Groove City. And I met him through my younger brother, uh, Lerone McLendon, who's also a phenomenal singer. Okay. And um, that relationship began. So what Gil did is he um, he sent me a few tracks and was like, uh, your brother told me you write. And I was like, yeah, you know, I write a little here and there. And, and um that's where that's the way it came from and uh that's the way is to me um i call it a love song from god to us his creation um and it talks about how he's known us from the time we were born and and all through our lives he's you know he's promised to never leave us and always take care of us and that's the way that's the kind of way he loves you know and well, um, let, why don't we play a small 
snippet of um, this particular track. That's okay. um, from a 2016 compilation called Welcome to Groove City Volume 1. Uh, this is Antonio McClendon, and that's the way. Next piece of music that um, I've come across was from in 2021 called My Baby. Yes. So what mm-hmm. happened in, in the interim? In the interim, I was um, actually in the interim, I, I started my, my home studio and I was actually doing a lot of work helping other people complete their projects. Okay. Um, writing uh, for, you know, several unknown artists and people kind of coming up and trying to get their careers started, um, arranging background vocals for several artists. Um, and I, that was, that was kind of my, my day to day until the, um, uh, my friend, Joe Ham, um, a uh, wonderful guy, drummer, musician, producer, um, brought the, my baby track to me. And, um, he was singing it. And he was like, man, it's, it's a good song, but I don't, I don't want my voice on it. <laughs> can you, <laughs> or can you sing it for me? And, um, beautiful song. I, I love it. Well, tell you what, let's again, play a small snippet of this from 2021 Antonio McClendon. And this is my baby. That's why I dedicate this song to you. This is for my baby. 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 So Antonio, since then there was How I Feel in 2022. Mm-hmm. And then 2023, you've had three songs. You've had Gonna Be All Right with uh, Andre Ski Taylor. You've had yeah. uh, Forever with B in the Family. And then on your own, My Little Girl. So, you know, you <laughs> despite everything else that's been going on, mm-hmm. you've still been releasing recording and releasing material yes. under your own name mm-hmm. um i um i'm a i guess i'm a consummate dreamer um there's music is in my bones and through all the the trials and obstacles in life um i, I believe god used music to to keep me on track and uh, to keep me, you know, full of hope for, you know, a reason to wake up every day and, and get going, you know. So any opportunity I've had to um, release music, to share with the world, what I, the gifts I've been blessed with, I'm, I'm always going to do it. Yeah. Well, that brings us to this. Oh, yeah. That brings us to this. How does it feel? to be the lead vocalist on an album that is being hailed as album of 2023. That's, that's mind blowing. That is mind blowing. When, when you can, when you consider um, all of the wonderful people in the band, we've, um, uh, except for the drummer, because I've, I've known the drummer for some years, but I didn't know he was a part of the band when I first started singing with them. Um, you know, here's this group of people. We've never, ever been in the same room together. Um, all the vocals for that CD have been done right in my little room right here. And um, to see the response, 
you know, it's like, this is why you never give up on a dream. For sure. You, you never know when a day like this is going to happen. So and let me, let me ask you this, Antonio, did you have to audition for the position of lead vocalist in Output Input? No, actually, um, a, a very wonderful new friend of mine, Mr. Mark Love, he, he sort of uh, did the auditioning for me because he, um, I think he, the story goes, he saw the band or some of the members of the band performing live in the UK once the doors kind of opened for like live performance and stuff again. And they were doing covers and he asked them, you know, could you guys use some original music? And they were like, yeah, you know, what do you got? Let us hear it. So to, to backtrack a little, uh, a good friend of mine, also world-renowned producer, Mr. Lars Holland, he was friends with Mark Love. And he called me one day. He was like, hey, I got this friend in the UK who's a, a wonderful songwriter, but he needs somebody to sing his songs. I want to connect you guys together. I was like, man, no problem. So I spoke to Mark. Mark was like, I'm almost ready to begin. And when I am, I'll get in contact with you and we can proceed. So since that initial meeting, I think it was like a year went by. Yeah. And he, he texted me and he was like, ready to go. Are you ready? And I was like, I'm ready. So I think I did like three songs with Mark. And those were the songs that he let the members of the Output Input Band hear. So we get down the road a bit and it's like they, the band is like really coming together. Like we really have something here but we need a, like a lead singer. We, you know, we're pulling from friends who, who sing to do uh, leads on some of the tracks, but it'd be nice to have a lead singer. Yeah. So Mark suggests, why don't you use the guy who's demoing my music? <laughs> okay. And then, yeah. <laughs> and they were like, uh, you think he's available? And he was like, well, I'll ask him. And uh, of course I said, oh yeah, I'm, I'm available. <laughs> Fabulous. And here we have output input with a project that I can't take out of my car. When I when my phone connects to my car when I turn it on, right now, it's you know, people say, Oh, you know, you're listening to your your own music. I, I understand that music is a gift. Of and when something yeah. when something beautiful happens, like the output input project, there's I believe there's a higher power involved. So I can listen to it like an outsider, like I didn't have anything to do with it and just, you know, kind of uh, enjoy the beauty of it. I know, I know certainly, um, and the album hasn't been out that long, um, mm -hmm. literally just a couple of months now. And I know yeah. prior to the album coming out, there were, I think, five singles. I might be wrong. I think there was five singles pr prior to the album coming out. Mm -hmm. But... Even listening to the whole album as regularly as I do and <laughs> as others have, mm -hmm. every single track still sounds so fresh. Oh man, it really does. It really does. It sounds and, so <laughs> and the other the other mind blowing thing about this, right? And you, you mm -hmm. touched on it earlier. Yeah. You guys have never been together to record any of this. No. From little studios all around the world, this project has come come to be. That is just phenomenal. <laughs> so you know, you can imagine how I'm waiting for. I can't. I can hardly wait for a live performance to actually be able to look around on the same stage um, with these musicians and let people know. You know, this is real. We, you know, this is a bunch of wonderfully gifted people who came together to make something really nice. Yeah, yeah. Now, I know when it first was made available to the general public, um, it was only available as a digital download. Then the CDs came out. Yeah. And I think just this week, they've announced that <laughs> vinyl is being pressed on. Yes. yes. Need to get my hands on a copy of one of them as oh, well. That's... And also... There is a remix which has just been com completed by Georgie B of I'm In Love. Yes, and I love it. I love it. I've heard a little snippet of it, and it mm -hmm. sounds pretty damn good to me as well. 
It's fire. It's fire for real. And it's due, I think, um, well, November isn't that far away. So it's the middle of yeah. November, I believe, it's going to be, become available. But, yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I, it still blows me away that, that you guys have never met. You perform mm -hmm. in all corners of the globe. Mm -hmm. Somehow, you know, Melvin and his magic just gets all this stuff together. Yeah. Um, you know, and as I mentioned, as I think I'm correct in saying five of the tracks were released as singles before the album came out. And mm -hmm. then there were tracks that we hadn't heard before, Time of Our Lives. Oh, man, alive, that is so good. Oh, thank you. Every Time You Touch is, uh, Every Time You Touch Me, which, yeah. is, which is the bonus track on the CD. On the CD, yes. Um, but, you know, you've also got the likes of... Um, Will Downing's wife doing vocals on one of the yes. Tracks. You've got oh, Brent. Amazing. You've got Brent Carter as well. <laughs> How amazing! He's, is that? he's no slouch either. After right. this time with Power of Power, I mean, she whiz. I'm telling you, it's a, it's a dream. It's a dream. So there let me is. ask you this question then. Um, 2024, you guys must be speaking about going on the road at some point it, it has been brought up and i'm i'm only too happy to clear whatever might be on my schedule to be available for that <laughs> yeah i heard as early as like february march okay so i'm i'm hoping that that can come together and is that going to be uk europe or is that going to be stateside or what uh uk europe okay mm -hmm. good stuff yeah. <laughs> well listen you know um as i asked you how does it feel to be the lead vocalist on the album of the year i think i think you've answered that question actually oh. <laughs> it's such a kicking album it really is from start to finish it continues to sound fresh every time that you listen to it yeah the quality, I, I, the quality of the production and the musicianship alone in this is, wow. Yeah, yeah. Everybody is really. All of the musicians are so at the at the top of their 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 game, and to bring all that together, um, it's 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 that kind of music that lives a long time. I it certainly, it certainly does. It mm -hmm. certainly does. Antonio McClendon, it's been an absolute delight having this conversation. Absolutely, man. Absolutely. And um, I don't need to say best of luck because you guys you guys are, are knocking it out of the park already with this album yeah. and um, anything else that you're going to put your hands to, I'm sure. But um, listen, thank you for taking time out to join us today. Um, have a great weekend in New York City. I hope your weather improves. Our weather isn't that great this weekend either here in Scotland. So, yeah. um, hey ho. Well, the best to you, Steve. Thank you for having me. My pleasure speaking with you. I've totally enjoyed, you know, our time talking here. Antonio, thank you once again. Take care and God bless. All right. Bless you, man. Talk to you soon. Talk to you soon. Bye bye. All right. Bye. We're just having a time. Start a sentence, you always finish my line. Together, we make the perfect team. Hey, even if I could, I wouldn't change a thing.